Whoa! Hmm. Better. Let's go! Hey everyone, Paul Richmond here. Grab your pencil and paper because today I'm going to teach you how to draw a cheesecake boy. All right, here he is. Hey, Gabe. Hi, Paul. Thanks so much for having me. I'm Gabe Gabriel, the glam god of the Twin Cities. All right, let's begin. Okay, strike that pose. Oh, you can feel free to embellish back there as much as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think we can make this better. There! <laughs> hey, watch that pencil. I like to start by drawing a line down the middle where the spine goes, and then I'll do this kind of blobby amorphous shape for the torso and then the face. Just start with very simple basic shapes and then pelvis. Don't go for the details right away. Everybody always kind of wants to start by drawing like eyelashes and fingernails. <laughs> Don't do that. You have to make sure everything's in the right place first. So here I'm kind of tweaking things that little extra booty. <laughs> and then you can add on the extra stuff like the arms and legs once you have the, the central axis of the body sort of worked out. Keep your lines really loose and sketchy at this point. You know, draw several lines because then chances are maybe one of them will be right. Once you have things sort of worked out, then you can go back on top of those sketchy lines and start refining them a little bit. Making sure that the undies look just right, caress the curves beautifully. You can see I kind of use like different thicknesses of, of the line. That's a fun thing to play around with. Instead of just using the same line weight all the way through, you can use thicker lines to kind of represent areas of shadow or things that are maybe coming closer to you. Every artist works differently, so that's why I'm not kind of doing this part in a step-by-step -step way, more just to let you sort of see how I go about it. Once you have the basic framework down, then it's really up to you how you want to go about adding details and making it your own. A lot of work making sure the, the butt looks just right. And here I'm thickening the lines around the outer edge. That's something I like to do with these. Make the figure pop. Little pop is always good. And there you have it, the finished Cheesecake Boy. And turn this into an actual coloring page that you can also go and download if you'd like to just color him and post them to social media and use the hashtag Cheesecake Boys. Gabe, thank you so much. You are an awesome model. Thanks so much for having me, Paul. You can find me on Facebook as Gabe Gabriel or follow me on Instagram at Queer. Until next time, bye, Paul. If you like this video, go down and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more Cheesecake Boy drawing fun. Till next time, bye-bye.